out with the players in the past 24 hours. The NFL has up upheld Juju Smith-Schuster's one-game suspension for his hit on Vontez Burfitt. However, earlier today, the league overturned George Iloka's decision during that same game. Iloka will be fined $36,000 for the hit. His agent had this to say. While we still believe George did nothing wrong on the play and the helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact was a result of Antonio Brown's lowering his head as he braced for contact, we felt and argued that a suspension was particularly egregious. LZ, your thoughts on this? So that I'm clear, mm. Juju and Grunk Juju both got right the here. game, right? Just one game. Yeah. Even though one clearly was like a crime in every other country. And, <laughs> and this country. And, right, and this country. And the other was like a, a bang bang football play. And then Juju stood over Vontez Perfect. Yeah. And then the helmet to helmet where AB was literally assassinated in front of everybody, mm. that goes scot free. I'm confused. Well, not scot free, $36,000, but 30, I hear you. 36, no game. Like, that's like, that's scot free. Relatively speaking, that 36, is. 36, Scott. Come I, on, I, now. I understand what you're saying. Look, it, it's uneven in terms of the punishment. Exactly. How it's handed out. Uh, Roger Goodell, the NFL, and his punishments have not been objective. They've been subjective based on public backlash, based on response, based on what we think and what we say. So it's, un it's interesting as you're a player, what do you do in those moments? And because in critical moments like that, there is a thought process. Mm -hmm. uh, Juju Smith-Schuster, despite what he said, knew who he was hitting. He knew it was Vontez Perfect right. because he stood over him and felt in the moment, you know who's going to say karma in the postgame? <laughs> Antonio Brown. So I don't understand the NFL's uneven hand in terms of these punishments. Yeah, this is, again, once again, we're shown how many holes there need to be filled in terms of how the NFL governs its bodies, governs the players. Right, right, right. Whether you're talking about incidents that have happened off the field or incidents on the field, these inconsistencies are some of the reason why when people see Roger Goodell, they boo him. Even though this doesn't really directly come from Roger Goodell, yeah. we feel like this is all part of the, of the narrative that he has no control over this league. Well, he's been the face, the judge, the jury, the executioner, and even the appeal process seems like it's the same as the penalty process, right. which is very few or actually appealed. I think Roger Goodell needs to appoint a committee that has a face, that actually has a voice that everyone in the public can point at and say, okay, please give us objective standards and measures mm -hmm. in terms of punishment. And then we will leave Roger Goodell out of this conversation and focus in on what are those punishments. Because right now, as a player in the moment, I wouldn't know what to do, exactly. and I certainly wouldn't know what the consequences are. Which is exactly are. how Le'Veon Bell was able to tiptoe into the end zone. He had three defenders who all thought, well, I thought you were going to get him, I thought you were going to get him, and they were all afraid of hitting him right. out of bounds, getting 15-yard penalty. Yeah, exactly. Let's move on to the MVP discussion.